I kept asking myself how a book could be infinite. I could not imagine any other than a cyclic volume, circular. A volume whose last page would be the same as the first and so have the possibility of continuing indefinitely. I thought of a labyrinth of labyrinths, of one sinuous spreading labyrinth that would encompass the past and the future and in some way involve the stars. In all fiction, when a man is faced with alternatives he chooses one at the expense of the others. In the almost unfathomable TZUI pen, he chooses simultaneously all of them. He thus creates various futures, various times which start others that will in their turn branch out and bifurcate in other times. That is the cause of the contradictions in the novel. TZUI pen must have said once, I am withdrawing to write a book. And another time, I am withdrawing to construct a labyrinth. Everyone imagined two works, to no one did it occur that the book and the maze were one and the same thing. The pavilion of the limpid solitude stood in the center of a garden that was perhaps intricate, that circumstance could have suggested to the heirs a physical labyrinth. Tzui Pen died, no one in the vast territories that were his came upon the labyrinth, the confusion of the novel suggested to me that it was the maze. Two circumstances gave me the correct solution of the problem. One, the curious legend that Tzui Pen had planned to create a labyrinth which would be strictly infinite. The other, a fragment of a letter I discovered. I leave to the various futures, not to all, my garden of forking paths. Almost instantly, I understood, the garden of forking paths was the chaotic novel, the phrase the various futures, not to all, suggested to me the forking in time, not in space. A broad rereading of the work confirmed the theory. In all fictional works, each time a man is confronted with several alternatives, he chooses one and eliminates the others, in the fiction of Tzui Pen, he chooses simultaneously all of them. He creates, in this way, diverse futures, diverse times which themselves also proliferate and fork. Here, then, is the explanation of the novel's contradictions. The Garden of Forking Paths is an enormous riddle, or parable, whose theme is time, this recondite cause prohibits its mention. To omit a word always, to resort to inept metaphors and obvious periphrases, is perhaps the most emphatic way of stressing it. That is the tortuous method preferred, in each of the meanderings of his indefatigable novel, by the oblique Tzui pen. I have compared hundreds of manuscripts, I have corrected the errors that the negligence of the copyists has introduced, I have guessed the plan of this chaos, I have re-established I believe I have re-established the primordial organization, I have translated the entire work, it is clear to me that not once does he employ the word time. The explanation is obvious, 